If you've ever wondered how to sell your clothes on Poshmark, I'm here to walk you through every step of how to sell your clothes and get instant cash in your pocket. I'm here to share my favorite food, wellness, and workout tips and a little extra cash tips to help you live your best damn life. Today we're gonna to talk about Poshmark. I decided to sell my clothes on Poshmark starting in 2016 just because I just wanted to get rid of clothes. Not only did I give my clothes to friends, I donated clothes, but then I just had extra clothes lying around the house with some items that had tags on them still. So I wanted to sell these clothes and make a little extra cash and so I could put that towards my business or towards, I don't know, something fun. So I'm gonna walk you through how I do it, how often I do it, and everything that helped me get started to make it easy, breezy, and so you can get a little extra cash in your pocket, and then clear out your closet and declutter at the same time. Let's get started. On my blog, I started in 2011, it all was around food. And then as I wrote my first cookbook and then my second cookbook and went on a book tour, I started wearing outfits more often and sharing those outfits and noticed that people took interest in that and so that actually became a part of my blog sharing fashion posts every single week but of course with that comes excess clothes and of course i can donate those to my friends i can donate those to goodwill but then i sometimes had these clothes that were really new and needed a new home and so i decided to look into poshmark if you have shoes accessories clothes that aren't getting worn that are in good condition well, you might as well make some extra cash with it. Of course, you can donate that and that's fantastic, but if you just wanna make a little extra cash from the money you already spent, you might as well put it on Poshmark. And I'm sure there's a ton of different apps out there. I've used Poshmark, I love their app, it makes it really easy and I can sell things in days. Now with Poshmark, for sales under $15, they take a flat fee of $2.95 and then you get to keep the rest. For sales that are $15 or more, you keep 80% and Poshmark takes 20%. I'm not sure what it looks like with other companies out there, so be sure to shop around, but that's worked great for me and it's made life so much easier with clearing out my closet and making space for maybe, I don't know, a child coming in. Now let's talk about what you're gonna need to get started. Something I recommend if you don't already have one is opening up a PO box. You don't wanna put your home address on the label when you're shipping out these boxes to who knows where and who knows who. So I highly recommend opening up a PO box and then having that as your return address. Next, you're going to need a label printer. It will come in handy and make your life so much easier if you have one of these. I've had this since 2016 and I haven't had to add any sort of ink to it. It prints so many labels. I just bought the printer and then a ton of different labels and so I had a big backlog of labels to go whenever I needed them. Then you're going to need boxes, but don't worry. Poshmark uses USPS priority mail boxes, so all you need to do is stop by your local post office, grab some different size boxes, and you're good to go. Depending on the box you use, you may need some packing tape. So I like to get some of that clear packing tape and have that on hand just to make sure the boxes are completely shut or if you have to fold up big boxes, you have enough tape to go around. And last, you're going to need the Poshmark app. Download it, all you have to do is upload your items there, sell them there, and you're good to go. Now to get started, all you have to do is take a couple pictures of the item. I like to hang it on the door, get pictures of the front and back, and then close up, and so they can see the material as well. And then I'll also add pictures of me in the outfit if I have those. So you'll just open the Poshmark app, add any of the photos straight to the app, and then you'll edit them as needed and pick your main photo. I always try to pick the photo of me in the outfit so you can see what it actually looks like. I also find pictures of the model in the outfit as well. You don't need to put this much time into it. If you have them on hand, awesome. Then once you get your photos uploaded, then you just have to start picking all the prices, the name of the item, all that jazz. Here I'll add the name of the item, a quick description. I try not to get too lengthy unless I can easily find the item and copy and paste the description from the website. And then I'll talk about what kind of item it is, if it's a dress, a sweater dress, the size of the item. Then I'll add the brand, the color of the item, and the price as well. You'll put in the original price, it will give you a suggested price, and you get to pick the price yourself. Then all you have to do is list the item, and then you will see it in your closet. 
Now, once the items have sold, you'll get a email straight from Poshmark, and all you have to do is print the shipping label and then start packing up your boxes. Grab the item that sold, put it in your USPS priority mail box, add the shipping label, tape it up if needed, and then you're good to go. Not so bad, right? All you have to do is pack up your items, slap on a label, and then you can take it to your local post office or you can request a pickup from your post office as well. My mailman works his freaking ass off and is walking so much around this neighborhood that I rarely ask him to come pick up more items. I just drop them off at my post office. And since you already have a label on there, you don't have to stand in line. You can just drop it off at the counter and get out of there. Now let's talk about you getting some results. Once your customer gets their order and they write your item in the Poshmark app, then you get paid. And then all you have to do is transfer those funds into your bank account. It is super simple and it's an easy way to make a little cash. Now let's talk about how to get you results. I started my Poshmark back in 2016. So this was about six years ago and I've sold over 500 items, probably about 550 items, and I've made close to $11,000 from selling those items. Now, of course I spent much more on purchasing those items, but that was extra cash that I wouldn't have had if I didn't sell those items on Poshmark. Sometimes I'll go months without selling anything. I've gone up to a year without selling anything. And then once I do a closet clean out, or there's some items that I know that I'm not going to wear whatsoever, it's been a year, it's time to let go, then I'll pop those items on Poshmark and start selling again. There's no rhyme or reason. I don't stick with a schedule. I just sell when it's convenient for me. Since I have a small following on Instagram, it's made it really helpful to be able to sell those items, but you don't have to have a following to be able to sell. What I recommend is talking about your Poshmark items and your Poshmark closet on your Instagram, on your Facebook, even on your TikTok. You can make a video of the items that you're selling. You could show the clothes that you're selling on the TikTok video. You could post on stories which items you're putting live on there and then share your closet link and so people know exactly where to go. And then you can talk about how much the price is reduced. Maybe you reduce the price up to 70%, maybe it's 50% off, whatever it is, share those numbers and so people know, hey, that amazing purse is 50% off, I want that. Now talking about it on a regular basis is going to be huge, but I think keeping your prices really fair is what's going to help sell those items quicker. If you wanna clear out your closet and declutter your space, well, price those items fair and they're more likely going to sell. If you're thinking to yourself, no, I'm not gonna discount it that much. I never even wore this and this is in perfect condition. Well, other people aren't gonna see it that way. They want the discount. So I highly recommend using fair prices. My average discount is about 66%. You can see your stats in the Poshmark app. And I think that really helps with selling items quickly because I give really fair prices. And another way to retain the customers that you already have to keep them coming back to your Poshmark closet is not only selling great items, at a reduced price, but being a stickler with shipping time. Try to ship items within two days. Whether you're dropping items off at the post office or you're requesting a pickup time for your mailman to come pick up the items that are dropped off at your front doorstep, make sure it's within two days time and so your customers are getting their items really quick. That will be a great reminder to your customers that you are not only great when it comes to the items that you ship, but you're going to ship them in a quick time so they can get their items because who knows Maybe they have a wedding coming up. Maybe they have a special event. You never know what they might need it for. And the priority mail, make sure to get those boxes to them quick. So get those boxes in the mail as quick as you can. And don't forget to communicate with your customers. If something happens, communicate with them. I accidentally sent the wrong jacket to one of my customers and I contacted her and let her know that I had shipped the wrong item and asked her if she could ship that back. Then I shipped her the correct item with a little gift card inside just as a thank you for dealing with the delay and dealing with my spacey head. Communicate with your customers so they know they can rely on you if something comes up in the future when they purchase another item. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it gives you a little extra confidence to start your own Poshmark closet. Know that the biggest part is really just setting up your PO box and getting a label printer. And I am going to link the label printer I use below so you can check that out. If you have any questions, comments, or just wanna share your own experience with maybe a Poshmark closet or selling 
clothes online, please leave them below. I would love to hear your stories. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a little like and don't forget to subscribe and so you can see even more fun videos to come in the future. Next, I'm sharing a few videos you might be interested in, so stay tuned for that. I'm Julie Bauer-Roth of PaleoMG. Thank you so much for joining me today.